Hello viewers, welcome to another project tutorial by Project Maker. In this video, I will be teaching you how we can perform web scrapping from a website. In simple words, we will be taking a website which is openai.com and from that website we will be scrapping all URLs present on that website into our program. So before starting, if you are new to this channel then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first. Now without wasting any time, let's move to our computer screen. As you can see, I have already opened python projects for beginners playlist in front of you and I have uploaded a lot of videos on this playlist for beginners. So let's add one more project in this playlist. And before moving to our destination folder, I would like to inform you that if you are watching this video then please 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 watch this web scrapping using python video because I have explained you the basic implementation step of web scrapping in that video which I will be not explaining in this video. So do watch that video first and then come back to this video. Now let's move to our destination folder. So as you can see this is our destination folder which is empty. Now let's open VS code in this folder. So I will just type cmd to open command prompt in this folder and just type code space dot. So this is our VS code it has opened in the folder let's create a new file which is main.py and now let's start implementation of our project we will be requiring two modules which is request and beautiful soap we have already used these two modules in our web scrapping project we will be using same so i already downloaded them so make sure you download these two packages before Im importing them in the project so let's start I will import these two modules import request and from bs4 import beautiful soap so we have imported these two modules now let's take a url so I will just store the url in variable so this is my url which is openai.com one more thing i would like to tell you that i am implementing this code in vs code as you can see but i have implemented the web scrapper code on jupyter notebook so you can implement that code in vs code also and this code in jupyter notebook also it will work in similar way so let's get ahead the next step will be fetching data from that url so i will be creating a variable which is response I am keeping the variable name same so that it will be easy for you to understand. As you can see I have fetched the data from that URL. Now let's print the data. So I will simply run this program. As you can see it is giving me unicode error or care map error so to resolve this error i have simply pasted the error on chat gpt and it has given me a solution which is this so i will simply copy that solution and just import one more package which is sys now let's run the program to check the output so this is the url data as you can see it's too much and not understandable to us so let's ignore it for now and just be happy by saying that we have imported the website data after that we will be using beautiful soap to make the data pretty fine so i will just write soap equal to beautiful soap dot just pass response dot text i am using response dot text here and i already told you the reason in that video and after that html dot parser now let's print the same so i will just copy paste and instead of this i will just write soup dot prettyfy function and just run the program See the data is now clearly visible and at least understandable to us because it is in HTML format with proper 
formatting so this is the entire website data as you can see now let's close it and just comment this line after that we just want the data and if you have basic knowledge of html then you must be aware that we store urls in anchor tag which is represented by a so we will be fetching data from that a tag only so i will just write for link in so dot find all and just pass a tag in a tag we, there are multiple options as you know but the main url is present in href so i will simply write the same to fetch data from that href so for that i will just write link dot get href so all the urls will be get stored in this href we can use a list to store the data and use for further processing but this is only a basic tutorial so i will just print the data print href so this will print all the urls available in this website so i will simply run it and as you can see these are the all urls present in this website which is login sign up and these are the navigation pages from OpenAI website as you can see so this was all about today's video and if you want to store this url in a list you can just add one line here which is this line so just create an empty list let's say urls and empty list and just append the urls by typing urls dot append and just give href in this and to view the urls just type for links in urls print link and just run the program it will give the output in similar way as you can see so this was all about today's video if you want source code of this today's tutorial you can simply visit my blog website which is project maker dot me so this is my blog website where i upload source code of my every tutorial i have uploaded the video material of web scrapping using python in this blog just click the blog so this is the blog where i have provided how we can do web scrapping using python i also provided the video link here as you can see which is this you can watch this video after that you can also follow these steps to just run the program or perform web scrapping and finally i have provided the entire code as you can see let's move back to our vs code so this was all about today's video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends thanks for watching this video